Hi everyone, Bonita here with our continuation of daily manifestation with me, Bonita Woods and Mariam Sardari, who will return tomorrow with some beautiful sessions for you. So I have been talking with you about the three, oh, look, I'm a little dappled in the sunlight. <laughs> it's a big change from being in Maine to being here in Florida. <laughs> Um, so I have talked with you about the three elements, attitude, gratitude, and action. And these are actually like really big because, you know, just like any program, any project, any activity, if you don't break it down to its elements and you're dealing with one big thing, when you're wishing for something, by its nature, it means that there, your current life is not what you want it to be a hundred percent you want something more something else something additional so by the very act of it you're showing uh you're showing that you're an unfulfillment with things as they are which is fine that's why we manifest so the gratitude the last yesterday I talked a lot about attitude. Today I want to talk about gratitude. So important, so important because you're asking the universe, our friends of the non-physical, you know, angels, our souls, Archangel Michael, whomever, or we're asking the energy ley lines between us and others or karma or whatever to help us to bring more into our lives. And we all know if you help someone and they're like not gracious, you don't wanna help them again. So we need to have gratitude. The more you have gratitude for what you have or all the moments of your day, the more likely everyone is to want to help you to be able to help you, to be able to connect with you. So gratitude. Now I gave the example yesterday of you wish you had more time for yourself and then you get to the checkout line and you're in a long line. Well, if you're like, oh man, I'm so angry. I need time for myself and I'm stuck here in the long line. There is no gratitude there. And your guides are going, but you said you wanted more time. We just gave you more time. It may not be the time you were asking for or the way, like maybe you had this image of yourself, you know, in a lovely environment, having a relaxing moment, drinking hot chocolate and reading a book with a, you know, whatever. Like it may not be your concept of the time for yourself that you were hoping for, but they gave you time for yourself. So be aware of everything that comes into your life. Say, is there an element of gratitude? Okay, I have time for myself. I've got 10 minutes where I'm standing in a checkout line. I have 10 minutes to myself. How do I wish to utilize it? Sorry, a bug was trying to crawl on my computer. <laughs> um, or so think about this gratitude feel finding gratitude for the small everyday moments in life it lightens your frequency it makes you more attractive energetically and additionally um it makes you more aware when the things that you're trying to manifest are coming close to you so if I'm in the long checkout line, I'll go, okay, I wanted more time for myself. I didn't get it quite the way I wanted it, but you guys, A for effort, I applaud you. I'm gonna use these 10 minutes for me and relax and enjoy myself. And let's work on getting a little more sophisticated with answering my request. Maybe I can give you more details of what I mean by time for myself. And then you're communicating, you're putting, even though it's still manifestation, you're putting action to it. And then I'll listen and they'll say, well, you know, why don't you work an extra like two hours every day this week? 
And then at the end of the two hours, we can have something come in response to that. Or like they'll sometimes give me directions. They'll, they'll say, why don't you offer this program? Or why don't you call so-and-so and see how they're doing? And I'll call so-and-so and they'll go, oh, do you know anyone who can house sit for me for a week? You know, like you start getting a little rapport, a little give and take communication. Now for action, this is really important. If you just sit and manifest, but don't do anything, it's really hard for them to get anything to happen for you. So go forward with action. Think for yourself. I need more time for myself. I crave more time for myself. So first, I got to make sure that I'm not like in an emotional downspin for this wish. You know, I'm emotionally neutral on up to joy, right? This is great. But what would be even better is if I had more time for myself. I appreciate the traffic jams you stick me in and the long checkout lines. And, but I would just like to have days to myself. And then, you know, I'd start looking, uh, you know, do a little online Google search. Or, you know, I will put action to it. An example is... Um, when I lead events, because you guys know me, I'm all about the work. I'm a little too crazy about my work. I love helping people connect with their full sense of being and, you know, giving themselves permission to love themselves and feel joy. This to me is like the best thing ever. So I'm all about the work. I'll do events with other people, peer professionals. Sometimes, you know, so if I'm doing an event, you know, I'll write it all up, I'll promote it, I'll make, you know, I'll promote every which way I can, I'll let people know, I'll have a great program. And then all the people who sign up, when I turn to the person I'm doing it with, who maybe did like this much work compared to all the work I did to get ready, and this has happened to me a lot, I'll say, what did you do to promote this? You know, I told you everything I was doing. What did you do? And they went, oh, I manifested. Every day I meditated that it would be a successful event. I put in a lot of action with my manifestation. And lo and behold, like 95 to 100% of people there were the people I brought in. And this other person did not put in action. And they brought in like no one. So... Another part of my action now is I learned if I'm going to do an event, I do an event with someone who will co-manifest with action. And then we have a wonderful time together and we have, you know, an event where a lot of people show up. So this was a life lesson for me to really look at when I'm with other people, are our actions matching each other, our vision, our ability may be matched, but our, our actions matched. And if they're not matched, then, you know, we need to have a conversation. We need to sort of get in alignment with each other on what we can do together. So I'm mentioning this because attitude, you know, emotionally neutral on up to joy. We don't need to bring stress or anxiety into what we're manifesting. Gratitude really appreciate everything you're given. I mean, anytime any person gives you something, you say, thank you. Thank you, whether you want it, need it or not. You always say thank you. You always have gratitude. It's the same to our non-physical friends. And that opens up the awareness, the communication, as well as helps you become more aware when desirable things are coming to you. And it helps you attract what you want. And then action. The action is so important. If you don't put in action, everything can just like get close to you and then stop. You also need to go forward to meet it. And as you're putting in action, you're also creating like a, a beacon, a calling card, a, hey, I've got the attitude, I've got the gratitude, and I am going forward to make it happen. And that's when things really start to happen. So tomorrow, 
Mariam is going to talk about them being one with the resonance of what you're manifesting. And I think that that will be a beautiful continuation of this concept. Today, as you're going through the day, think about all the things that are wonderful that you're grateful for. You know, if it's uh, hot outside and a breeze comes by, whoo, you can be sad because it's hot or you can be grateful for the sunlight and the breeze. If it's cold where you are, you know, you can be grateful that you have a warm sweater and a blanket to cuddle into. You know, like for every negative, there's a potential positive. And the more we pursue the potential positive, the easier it is to find and become connected with the greater positives. So have a wonderful day. And today I challenge you to think about attitude, gratitude, action, and see how that fits with your everyday life to bring greater joy, greater elements, items, people to be grateful for. And I hope that you have a wonderful, magical day. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe to Bonita Woods on YouTube, subscribe to The Core Shift, Mariam's YouTube channel, because we have a lot more really, I think, fun videos that we will be creating for you. Thank you. Bye.